Aberystwyth is a pleasant seaside resort on the west coast of Wales. It is set in beautiful rural surroundings with an easy reach to the Pembrokeshire coast and Snowdonia National Parks. The University College of Wales was founded in 1872 and is the oldest constituent college of the University of Wales. Some departments still occupy the original building on the seafront, but most, including computer science, are part of the modern Pengalise campus which overlooks the town and Cardigan Bay. The Department of Computer Science is situated in the Clandinum building along with the College Computer Unit. It is adjacent to the Physical Sciences building which houses the departments of mathematics and physics. The degree schemes for the Department of Computer Science are Single Honours in Computer Science Single Honours in Microelectronics and Computing and Joint Honours in Computer Science and another subject. These schemes are taught in close collaboration with the Departments of Accounting, Mathematics and Physics. The most popular joint degree schemes are those with accounting and mathematics. All new students are given advice on the various courses available for a chosen subject. First year computer science students follow courses in computer science and two other subjects. Second year single honours computer science students typically spend two thirds of their year and then all of their final year studying computer science itself. Microelectronics and Computing is an integrated scheme which is taught by the two departments of computer science and physics. Joint honours students spend half of their second and final years with computer science and half with the other subject. In the last few lectures in this course, we've been looking at the traditional methods Lectures of form the main software. teaching medium for all subjects. And we're now Part of a student's assessment the is through the course and larger project work that is set as a result of this These teaching. These are the methods which have been coming into use in the past five years or so, originally as research exercises, but which are now more and more becoming used in practical development projects in industry. The first thing that comes out... Every student think, is a member of a small tutorial group. These groups meet regularly to discuss informally with their tutor the, the, the work that the students are involved with. Um, where do you think you should draw the line between just allocating space for the maximum and where do you think you perhaps should decide upon a more dynamic structure um, because the difference between the average and the maximum is so much greater. Where do you think that line should be? It's going to change because the maximum size is 500. Mm -hmm. So if you have just one record or even two, it's an awful lot of space taken up so the code could easily fit in that space. Surely. So we're going to have a dynamic one. Um, with respect to which field? Or all well, particularly the notes field. The whole thing. Certainly that notes field is significant because if you, if you look you'll see that the maximum is 10 times larger than the average. So you're going to have perhaps 450 elements not being used at all. There is also an advisory service that is available to all students throughout the working day. This service, along with tutorials, is an important part of the substantial assistance that is available to a computer science student. The central topics studied by all students include software design, computer systems, programming, data structures and algorithms, and software engineering. One of the optional courses is computer graphics. A recent third year project involved a technique known as interpolation. Here is a short example 
are some of the visual effects produced from this work. Another optional course is industrial robotics. In addition to lectures, students attend laboratory sessions to gain practical experience in this advanced technology. And then the other three joints are then collected against the wrist joints. The last one just rotates the tool there. The control of the tool is considered to be separate from the six axes of the main robot. Artificial intelligence is a growing subject this student's third year project involves using a Symbolics Lisp machine that will later be interfaced to a small robot. The equipment in the main teaching laboratory includes Motorola 68000 systems for real-time programming and terminals connected to a VAX 11750 running the Unix operating system. Computing technology is constantly evolving. To meet these advances, the department continuously reviews and updates its teaching facilities and equipment. A new laboratory equipped with more advanced workstations is planned for this year. The microelectronics and computing course is supported by a well-equipped microprocessor development laboratory Facilities include a wide range of test equipment and microprocessor development systems. Adjacent to this laboratory is a computer-aided design facility with Apollo engineering workstations equipped for integrated circuit design. The college computer unit's main facility is a Honeywell Level 66 mainframe computer. This service is available to all students through the campus local area network. Strong links exist between the department and industry. Students are encouraged to spend a year in industry between their second and final years. These are just a few of the companies where students have had an industrial year. Aberystwyth believes computer science to be a vocational subject and produces graduates to the highest professional standard. The courses have a high practical content, more so than many others. For this reason, employers particularly like graduates from this department and the salaries they receive are very competitive. The department is very active in research and has attracted well over one million pounds in research support in recent years. There are two principal research groups in the department, the robotics research group and the software engineering group. The main thrust of the robotics research is directed at the application of artificial intelligence and knowledge engineering techniques in industrial automation. Earlier work was concerned with intelligent error recovery in industrial robot systems. This involved several levels of software, from robot control and sensory processing, to diagnostic analysis and recovery. A knowledge-based robot work cell supervisor was designed and implemented. The current project is concerned with further work on the design of knowledge-based supervisors. The principal goal of this new work is to demonstrate the research results in an industrial setting at Thorn EMI Central Research Laboratories, the collaborating company. In order to perform research experiments, the robotics group has a duplicate Thorn EMI work cell. Here it is assembling an AVOMeter.
Monitoring robot operations for errors requires the use of suitable sensors. This is a continuing and developing theme in the group's activities. A revolutionary type of tactile sensor has emerged from the work. When a component is gripped within the sensor, the data produced can be analysed to produce information about the component's surface and orientation. Such information can be used to check for faulty components and ensure that it is gripped correctly before continuing with the assembly task. Now, if you think of this the department's two here, principal research groups have mutually beneficial links. Knowledge engineering techniques are becoming increasingly important in software engineering. Good software engineering is vital to the software developments of the robotics group. One of the areas of the software engineering group is concerned with is that of software reusability and rapid prototyping. This leads into such matters as how to design software modules to be reusable. These modules can be regarded as software components. They need to be specified, organized into a software component library, and techniques need to be developed for using them when prototyping. We'll have the operations push, pop, um, top, things like that. Okay? Right, now what we could do then is go into this component here and open it and that, would do, that allows us to specify the body of the stack. And because we've got the two interfaces there, the port and the window, that would be represented within the diagram as an external port on the left-hand side and an external window on the right-hand side. So those are the constraints that we're placing on the actual body of the stack. The university campus, with its full range of academic, residential and social facilities, is acknowledged to be one of the finest in Britain. The college maintains a tradition of high academic standards and attractive conditions for student life. Should you decide to study at Aberystwyth, a warm welcome can be guaranteed.